Have y'all heard of the turkey hut? The turkey hut consists of, if I'm not mistaken, or the face of the turkey hut, was a black man and a black woman. But what they're basically saying is that somehow, some way, there's been some misappropriation of funds. How come when it always come to us, there's always a money issue, regardless of how successful you are, regardless of how great you are, regardless of how awesome you've been doing things, it's always going to come back to it being a money issue. What a money reside. What a money reside. Why is there always a money issue with us? It's gotten messy, Azriel. They divorcing? Yeah, I heard that she said that he was abusive. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Again, make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Let's see what they're reporting on when it comes to the turkey hut. A lot of people wondering what is going on with a popular restaurant. A lot of turmoil is being played out in public. Fox 26 business reporter Tom Ziska live in the third ward outside the Turkey Leg Hut where a co-founder has been fired, staff laid off, and paychecks are missing. Tom. Rashi, a lot of moving pieces here. The Turkey Leg Hut made a splash when it was founded in 25 2015 by husband and wife team Lynn Price and Nakia Holmes. Last year, there were headlines about the couple's separation while they continued to operation, operate the business together until yesterday. From its home on Almeda Road, the Turkey Leg Hut lunch crowd is not the long wait that the popular restaurant can be known for, but as diners enjoy a nice day on the patio, all is not well at the restaurant. Co-founder Lynn Price posted on Instagram a now deleted copy of an email from a management consultant that gave him his walking papers from the company, reading, your employment with the Turkey Leg Hut is being terminated effective immediately. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a question, and I'm looking for an answer. And I need the chat's help with regard to this, all right? Can you be fired from something that you were co-founded, that you co-founded, even though you don't have any uh, any other shareholders? And I don't know the details of what they got going on, what's happening out in these streets, but I'm just asking a question. Can you be fired? Can you be fired? from something that you co-founded and can your employment be terminated immediately? <laughs> oh man, this is crazy. Messi said yes by other founders. No, you can't just fire me. You got to buy me out because I still have ownership inside of the company. And if the only other founder is you because we found that it's husband and wife. Even if you got, listen, listen, if you don't own 50%, now I could be mistaken, right? If you don't own 50%, that doesn't mean that you can be fired. You still own, you still own the company. You can't take away my shares. You can only fire me if I hold a separate position, but that does not remove my equity in the company. You see what I'm saying? So he wasn't an official and employee unless he was paying himself. Now, if somebody was his boss and they can fire him that from, from that position, but that doesn't mean that you can remove my ownership in the company. Mark Zuckerberg tried this. Yeah, but that was with a publicly owned company that then, that then, um, diluted his shares down to a specific amount that made his shares near worthless that had nothing to do with his actual position in the company you gotta buy me out you can't fire me especially from a husband and wife team and it just get messy the minute that they start getting messy they go and do a divorce nobody want to hold on nobody want to do the thing that's going to be best for the bag and now they want to terminate his employment immediately that's crazy. Let's continue. It reads, 
The firing is just one of several personnel changes at the company, citing a financial review after the discovery of potential mismanagement. The Turkey Leg Hut owner Nakia Holmes says in a statement to Fox 26, unfortunately, we quickly uncovered financial discrepancies that demanded immediate action. Now, here's my question, right? Because she's saying this. This is her statement. But the question is, my question becomes, okay, y'all with me? Is this a smear campaign? Are they or are is she now leveraging, you know what I'm saying? This is an opportunity in order to get back at him because they're going through a separation or a divorce. Because we got so many questions. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. But all we do know is that what you got going on in your home is now affecting what you got going on with your business. Y'all never was missing paychecks. Y'all never was missing the money. Everything was good. Everything was popping. But the minute that you then made yourself a figurehead, and when you went through something, now you're leveraging that. And so is she now using this Nakia Holmes, the owner, the girl, the wife, the former wife, the ex-wife? And I'm asking a question. I'm not assuming. I'm asking a question. Is she now leveraging this as an opportunity to get him up out of there? Hmm. Interesting. That action included two firings, six people laid off, and what she insists is a two-week payroll delay. But an employee who does not want to show his face says he's gone more than six weeks without a paycheck, owed more than $1,000. We get behind on bills like rent, light bill, water bill. It's just, it's becoming a hassle trying to... Let me tell you something. Under no circumstance... Under no circumstance, and I mean zero circumstance, do you ever mess with people's money. I don't care what happens. I don't care how much y'all beef. Listen, we got to take care of payroll. I've always believed and I've always lived by. I've always believed and I've always lived by. And this is a fact. Not one person in the world can ever say that I owe them money. I've always paid my people first. Before I pay myself, sometimes I used to pay people out of my own pocket, right? Because I would have to give them their money before a payroll was even happened because, you know, I was passionate about them. They was going through things. They had baby mama issues, getting kicked out of their house. So I would even, you know, be so passionate enough to give them an advance, even though I knew it was against whatever, right? But my point is, is that you never under any, uh, under any circumstance Mess with people's money. What you mean you owe me for two weeks, three weeks pay? No matter what you got going on in your house, no matter what you got going on financially in your life, no matter what is happening, you never, ever mess with people's money. That is rule in the business. In business. No matter what happens, you pay the vendors, you pay the rent, you pay the employees, and not necessarily in that order. You pay the vendors because you got to get the food in. You pay the rent because you got to have you, you don't want to get kicked out and you pay the employees. Now, all other things, you can figure that out. You can sort that out. You might have financing problems. They probably leverage the business and all of this other type of stuff, whatever, so on and so forth. But under no circumstance do you ever not pay your people. That's the first thing you do is you start issuing them checks. A hundred percent. You don't mess with people's money, man. Get what's owed to you. You should not give up on the money that's yours, regardless of the amount. Fox 26 legal analyst Chris Tritico says affected employees have a strong argument to get their money if the employer drags its feet. From court filings to complaints to the Department of Labor, there are avenues to collect, especially with the business still in operation. It does not, however, lessen the immediate hardship for employees waiting on a promise to be paid. My creditors aren't going to be as nice is you're asking me to be to you, and they're not going to wait. That's crazy. So Courtney, the employee, says it is a challenge continuing to come to work, not knowing when the next paycheck will come. Owner Nakia Holmes says she does plan to address those backlogged paychecks promptly, her word there, and hopes to invite those laid-off employees back to work by later in the summer. Meantime, the drama continues here behind me. We were informed this afternoon that Lynn Price, the co-founder, was served divorce papers right behind me and escorted off the premises by a deputy. That's crazy. This is insane. 
This is insane. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is so messy. This is so messy. And so now they're going to tank the entire business. The margins is already. I don't know if y'all know how hard it is um, to run a business. I really don't know if y'all know how hard it is to run a business. But they're basically going to take the tank the business because they are having their own personal issues and they can't even afford to pay the employees. You can't even afford to pay the employees. That's disrespectful. It's a hundred percent disrespectful. And, um, it's unfortunate because usually what happens is the other people are the ones that suffer as a result of your unprofessionalism. But um, I hope that the employees get their money. Um, obviously, I think that it's bad optics. And all of this stuff playing out in the public, ultimately it hurts you, right? Because it hurts the business. And so now people are saying that they would go or they wouldn't go or they don't really care about it or the employees is getting laid off and the employees don't show up. And so the quality suffers. And everybody know your business as a result of it, too. It's messed up. It's absolutely messed up. So now they're going to depend on you guys going in and patronizing them in order for them to continue to make back payroll. God bless the employees. And uh, I'll be following this. The people told me to pay attention to this, so I'll be following it. All right? Listen, y'all. We didn't quite have to go all the way to three hours. They got a car collection? So you you saying we need to do a part two of this on, on Friday or tomorrow? Okay, all right, we're going to get there. 